Hi students, this is the solutions to the 2024 HSC Maths Extension 2 exam. In this video, we're going to look at the multiple choice questions. Question 1. Which of the following vectors is perpendicular to 3i plus 2j minus 5k? Best way to do this is to use the dot product. We want it to be equal to 0 and we're going to eliminate our answers here. Now, I'm going to start with D because quite often when they ask you to do an elimination question, they put the real answer towards the end. So let's start with D. We're going to do the dot product. So 3 times 3 is 9. Take away 2 times 2, which is negative 4, plus 1 times negative 5. And wow, lo and behold, it is D. Question 2. Consider the following statement written in the formal language of proof. Which of the following best represents this statement? So let's have a look what we've got. For all theta that lies in the second quadrant, there exists phi that lies in the third quadrant, such that sine theta is equal to negative cos phi. And that is C. Question three. Consider the statement, if a polygon is a square, then it is a rectangle. Which of the following is the converse of the statement above? So for the converse, all we want to do is switch these two around. So we say, if the polygon is a rectangle, then it is a square. If the polygon is a rectangle, then it is a square. It is A. Question four. Monic polynomial f of x of degree 3 with real coefficients has 3 and 2 plus i as two of its roots, which means the other root must be 2 minus i because it's got real coefficients. Which of the following could be f of x? Now you can form a polynomial using these roots, but that's actually longer. It's easier to use the sum and product of the roots. The sum of the roots is negative b on a, and we can see in every case here a is equal to 1. So it's equal to negative b. And the sum of the roots is 3 plus 2 plus i plus 2 minus i, which is 7. And so minus b is equal to 7. b is equal to negative 7. So it's not c and it's not d. All right. Now let's see, the, do the product of the roots. The product of the roots in this case, minus b, see it's minus d. And the product of the roots is going to be 3 times 2 plus i, 2 minus i, is 3 times 4 plus 1, which is 15, which is great. And so d is negative 15. Our answer must be b. Question 5. Particle is moving in simple harmonic motion with period 10 seconds and amplitude of 8 metres. Particle starts at the central point of motion and initially moving to the left with a speed of v metres per second where v is greater than zero. What will be the position and velocity of the particle after 7.5 seconds? Okay, so we're going to start with a model and we let x equal. And because we are starting at the central point of motion and motion is around that central point, I'm going to use sine. But you can see that we, it is initially moving to the left so in a negative direction, so negative sine would be most appropriate. Now it's negative a sine nt, and the a is the amplitude, and we know the amplitude is 8. We don't need any other uh, variables. All right, we need to work out what n is. We know the period is 10, so 10 is equal to 2 pi over n. So n is equal to 2 pi over n, which is pi over 5. And so x is equal to negative 8 sine pi on 5t. All right, what will be the position and velocity of the particle after 7.5 seconds? Let's substitute that in. So x is equal to negative 8 sine pi on 5 times 7.5, which is equal to negative 8 sine, and that is 3 on 2, 3 pi on 2. And so that's going to give us negative 8 multiplied by negative 1, which is 8. And so that means it is 8 metres to the right of the central point of motion. And you know the answer here, the only one that's possible then, 
is D. Question 6. A light string passes over a smooth pulley. Attached to the ends of the string are masses of 9 kilograms and 5 kilograms as shown. The acceleration due to gravity is g meters per second squared. What is the acceleration of the 9 kilogram mass? Alright, so we know that the whole system is moving in this direction towards the heavier weight and we know that there is tension in the string and the tension on both the strings, or both sides, is going to be equal. So we're going to look at two parts to this system, the left hand side and the right hand side. Let's start with the right hand side. We're going to move in the direction of the motion. I'm going to use F is equal to MA, which in this case, M is 5. Now, in this direction, we are going to have tension take away mass times gravity, so 5G is equal to 5A. So that is our first equation. Now let's look at this side. Again, we've got F is equal to MA, but in this case, M is 9. And when we're moving in this direction, we're going to get the weight, which is 9G, take away the tension, is equal to 9A. Tightening that up, T is equal to 9G, take 9A, and that is our second equation. Eliminate T, so we're going to get 5A plus 5G is equal to 9G minus 9A. And solving, we get 14A is equal to 4G, a is equal to 4 over 14, or 2 over 7. G, the answer is A. Question 7. It is given that the magnitude of Z minus 1 plus I is equal to 2. What is the maximum possible value of the magnitude of Z? So let's start by drawing this. It's going to be a circle. We'll plot the point. Actually, let's rewrite this. Z take away 1 minus I. Plot this point 1, negative 1, and the radius is 2, so it's going to come around. Come down there. Terrible drawing, sorry. All right, now maximum possible value of magnitude of z, so we want z to be as far away as possible from the origin. And it has to line that circumference of that circle. So that's going to be over here. Let's draw that up. There is Z down there. Now we know this is 2 because it's the radius of the circle. And th this part here is root 2. So our answer is 2 plus root 2, which is C. Question 8. Which of the following is equal to E to the conjugate of Z? where z is equal to x plus i, y, and x, and y are real numbers. So we've got e and we've got z conjugate, which of course is equal to e, x, minus i, y. Okay, we're going to do this by elimination again. And these two are really similar. So let's try and form an e to the z out of this. So I'm just going to go e to the x plus i, y, take away 2 i, y, which gives us e to the z, e to the negative 2iy. Now, in both cases, we've got this first part in terms of x, so let's form that. So I want 2x. So let's do two lots of x plus iy, which is equal to 2z. And then I've got 2x plus 2iy is equal to 2z. All right, I'm going to substitute for this, so I want negative so I've got 2x take 2z is equal to negative 2iy equals e to the z times e to the 2x minus 2z is equal to e to the 2x e to the negative z, which is neither of those. So it's not c and it's not d. Now, with b, we can eliminate that because that's actually never going to be right. That would be e to the x, oh, sorry, minus x minus i, y, and that's never going to be equal to e to the, what have we got, x minus i, y, unless x is equal to zero. And so it's not b. 
And therefore, our answer is A. Question 9. Consider the solutions to the equation z to the power of 4 is equal to negative 9. What is the product of all the solutions that have a positive principal argument? So let's let z equal r cis theta. And so r to the power of 4 cis 4 theta is going to equal 9. We don't want a negative here. Cis pi. That's the way we'll get negative 1. So r is obviously equal to root 3. Remember, it can only be positive. 4 theta is equal to pi plus 2k pi, and k can equal 0, plus or minus 1. Positive 2 is no good, negative 2. So theta is equal to pi on 4, plus k pi on 2. Now our positive principal arguments are going to come from k equals 0 and k equals 1. So when k is equal to 0, theta is equal to pi on 4. When k is equal to 1, theta is equal to 3 pi and 4. And we want the product of the solutions that have a positive principal argument. So we want to multiply root 3 cis pi and 4 by root 3 cis 3 pi and 4, which is 3 cis pi, which is negative 3. So the answer is... B. Question 10. Three unit vectors A, B and C in three dimensions are to be chosen so that A and B are para perpendicular, B and C are perpendicular and the angle theta between A and A plus B plus C is as small as possible. What is the value of cos theta? Now I absolutely love this question. I went down a rabbit's hole and ended up with cos theta is equal to this dot product blah de blah 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 you know and I got a certain way down because we know unit vectors and all of that but when I got to the point here and I was looking at that I started adding the, vac the vectors and looking at it graphically or geometrically and it's actually you just need to use trig can you believe that and properties of quadrilaterals so I'll show you how to do that if we have a vector a of length 1 and then we've got a vector perpendicular to that of length 1 and then another vector perpendicular to that one of length 1, there's actually only two diagrams I can really draw. There's that one and then there's this one that comes back on itself like that. Now we want to look at the addition of those three vectors. So that's from the start of the first vector through to the end of the last one. And in this case it looks like that. And we want to look at the angle between vector A and that addition, which is there, and in this case it's here. We can see that it has to be the first diagram because we want this angle to be as small as possible. So let's draw a better diagram representing that first scenario. It's going to be a parallelogram. So here's vector A, length 1, and here's vector B, here, also of length 1, here's vector C. And I'm going to draw this up as well. So that is a right angle, and that is a right angle. And here's our angle here. Now we know that is 1 there. We know that in a parallelogram, the diagonals bisect one another. So the length of, of vector B is 1, so this here must be a half, and this must be a half. All right, cos theta, using right angle trig, must be adjacent over hypotenuse. Using Pythagoras, in this triangle we have h squared is equal to 1 squared plus a half all squared, which is 5 over 4. h is equal to root 5 on 2, because it has to be positive. Therefore, cos theta is equal to 2 on root 5. The answer is D. Okay, that's it for this video. In our next video, we're going to look at questions 11, 12 and 13.